Now the Moonlander from ZSA has a degree of tenting built into it out of the box, but the rub with that is you have to use the thumb cluster as effectively one of the legs. If you've got very small hands, that that's actually moving the thumb cluster away from you. So if you've got very small hands, you know, these bottom keys or the furthest away thumb cluster keys are getting more difficult to touch. Simon Cowell with his freakishly small hands certainly wouldn't be happy. The good news is with the platform add-on from ZSA, you can have your cake and eat it. You get up to 60 degrees of tenting and you get to move the thumb cluster in whatever position you would ordinarily. So when ZSA sent me one of these to try, I actually wondered if they'd sent me a Neutron Star because the weight of this thing um, is pretty phenomenal. The platform enjoys the same high polish and attention to detail that you would expect from ZSA. Nice simple packaging, the two separate halves come in their own little um, foam container and setting it up is a breeze. It's pretty hard to mess up the installation. You just flip your Moonlander over onto its back. Um, the four mounting holes that you see on the bottom of the Moonlander align up with the, the four holes on the platform. You use the enclosed screws and basically just screw those four screws on each side into the bottom of your Moonlander. It's almost as if somebody had thought this all through. Now you might look at the, the Moonlander and you can see I've got fingerprints all over mine already, but you might wonder why ZSA haven't perhaps powder coated this um, so it's got a matching colour for either the white or the black Moonlander. Well, when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. It's got this sliding mechanism down the middle and it would also make it quite prone to getting like chips and nicks on the side of it, which would probably make it look quite sort of um, worn very quickly. And the other thing aside from that is the cost. It would almost certainly add to the cost. So being as this thing is about $112 before shipping anyway, I think not doing that was probably the right call. Once you've got this thing mounted, there's nice little markings across this, the slide here at 10 degree intervals so you can easily set both halves exactly the same. That's a nice little touch. And you just set the, the position where you want it, sort of thumb screw tight where it is first. And even if you do thumb day at the gym, you want, you're gonna want to nip that up with an Allen key which is provided. Um, or you could also use the big long one that comes with the Moonlander and you've probably already forgotten about. That stays in your Moonlander case. They're both the same size, almost, again, like somebody's thought this through. Um, so you just tighten that up uh, a little bit. That um, bit there just sort of clips into place, and that's it. You're set. You're... And that's incredibly sturdy. Like... That has not been anywhere. If you set the angle and you do want to change it, it's incredibly straightforward to do that. You might think you need to get in here and sort of sneak your, your Allen key in. Well, there's this lovely little um, system here where the Moonlander kind of stays locked here, but there's a little um, clip system here with a spring, which means that you can just edge that forward. It just clips off. You can open that up, set your position, and then it will just clip into place again. That's it. If you really bash this thing, it's not completely silent. Uh, I mentioned the clip before, which has got a little spring in it that allows that sort of mechanism to work. And because it's got a spring in there, you'll know from the springs in your keyboards, springs tend to make a little bit of noise. But I wouldn't say this is rattly. That would be unfair. It's just if you do, you know, shift the keyboard around like that, you can obviously hear a little bit of that. But let me illustrate what I mean. Okay, so this is going to be me typing on monkey type about... 40 words per minute if I'm lucky. Um, usual sort of speed and um, rhythm of typing, hopefully. Uh, I've got the, the platform set to about 40 degrees. So hopefully you can tell in that situation, it's essentially silent. If I, you know, I, I can rattle it and you, and you can hear it, but ordinarily, nothing. And you know, this thing is rock solid in use. There's absolutely no way. I'll just take that out so I'm not spamming the screen. Like. 
I'm I'm shaking my desk and my monitor's moving, but this is not really moving at all. I love the Moonlander for travelling because it fits, you know, it folds up so compactly with a little magnet and everything and fits inside that little pouch. You can still do that with the platform, um, but obviously it does add some extra bulk. And as I mentioned at the beginning, this thing is very heavy. My Moonlander with, with no cables and without the platform at attached um, weighs in something like 780 grams. With the platform on and all the cables, we're looking at about 1600 grams. So slightly over double the weight. If you put it in a backpack or a cycling pannier, something like that, you're probably not gonna notice. If you're flying a lot with it, it is gonna add a lot of extra weight. Maybe that's something you need to bear in mind. And you know, if you're traveling with this every day, there's obviously a little bit of faff involved every day. You've got to get this thing out, set your position, use the uh, the Allen key or hex wrench as you're given to call it in other parts of the world. You need to use that to sort of tighten it up. You can sort of thumb tighten these screws a little bit, but it's not recommended. And the likelihood is you won't be able to get it tight enough. You do need to just sort of nip it up a little bit with the Allen key. So, you know, that's a little bit of faff every day. But honestly, you're the person that's turning up to work every day with a weird keyboard and setting it all up anyhow. So an extra little bit of faff. Let's be honest, no one's even got a bat an eyelid. So that side of things, the faffing about, it's only really a consideration if you do travel with your Moonlander every single day. If you're using it in your home office, it's staying put, whether it's in the office or your home office, wherever, um, that's really not a consideration. You set this thing once and it's absolutely rock solid. So I've been using the platform on my Moonlander for about two months now. I'm not somebody that really suffers from wrist pain, touch wood, um, with regards to tenting angles and such. But I do find it quite comfortable um, to type on the Moonlander in, in this sort of tented position. It's never sk skipped a beat, the angle's never slipped. All I can say to you is, whilst it might seem like a, an expensive addition, if you're somebody that already owns a Moonlander, or you think it might help you if you have a Moonlander to be able to do that sort of um, tenting, it might be expensive, but it is absolutely the best possible solution to the problem that you could probably get. It's incredibly well built, very well considered. The fact that you can keep this on and collapse up your keyboard and still get it in the pouch with those nice sort of quick release clips is some you know lovely engineering choices. So while it does add a little bit of bolt and a lot of weight, if you think you might benefit from this, it's an absolute no-brainer. It extends the already complete package of the Moonlander even further. It's giving you tenting angles up to 60 degrees, which is frankly nuts. That's it, thanks for watching. If it was useful, come on, you're a grown-up, you know what to do. Otherwise, see you again sometime.